Welcome to the shop. Hope you're having a great day. All right, time to get back on this bad boy and get some Kydex wrapped on it so we can get the hormones all put in and all that good stuff. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I started two new folders. Uh, they don't have any bevels on them or nothing, but I've been doing them off camera just for the fun of it. And uh, of course, I'll put my website up in the cards where I got three folders up there if they're still available and a few other knives. Make sure to like, leave me some comments, let me know what's going on with your knife. If you got any questions, leave them, tips, all that good stuff. Subscribe, hit the bell. All right, let's get on it. Let's wrap this thing up with tape. <laughs> all right, let's get the trusty knife out. Got my tape right here. I put three layers on each side. And, uh, oh yeah, <laughs> I almost forgot. I made these little things, you know, they go right in here in the handle. So I always make sure to save them. It's just good that way your Kydex doesn't fold in and you got it nice and open and it all fits around. So, all right, let's get this on. Three layers each side. I think I gotta get a new roll. I got a couple on the back. Let's see how far we get. So when I get here, I push back. Boom, cut out, push down like that, cut towards yourself, it pulls up, put this little piece in, boom. Then I just put it, lay it right here, cut in, boom. Kind of twist the knife so it's flat. Cut out, but don't cut yourself. <laughs> Same thing here, cut out, but don't cut yourself. Or you can just actually fold it over on the top. There's one. Boom. Push it back like that. Cut out. Watch your fingers. Cut out. Watch your fingers. Boom, we got both sides. So there we go, we got this piece hanging. So I'm just gonna do that two more times. See, that way you don't have to worry about the kydex closing. You gotta cut all that off anyway, up into here. Boom, all right, two more times, I'll be back. There we go. All three layers holding this in. See, that's actually pretty stiff now. I got three layers on it. See what I mean? I even folded the top over. So it doesn't really matter. You just want it tight. Boom. Try to get it so there's no creases or anything like that. Boom, boom. I got my skillet plugged in. Let me see my temperature gun. Yeah, we're at 250. I usually take it up to like 370, 375. So let's cut our Kydex out. Got my tack lock here, but that's later. <laughs> I always make it really big. Got the silver markers. These are down in my Amazon links. See little tools like this, you know, one, two, three blocks, all that stuff down in my Amazon links. So we got this much room, flip it over. Look at that catch, I didn't even look. <laughs> Let's go like that, all right. Make it extra big just to make sure. Woo, 400, we need to turn that down a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like I gotta buy some more of these too. <laughs> Get my razor blade. I got everything all piled up, stockpiled on here. I can't find anything. 
There we go. Bend it once. Boom. Bend it. Pow. There we go. Ta-da. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're at. Let's get these damn gloves on. I'm a man. Nothing hurts me. <laughs> 370. All right. Shiny side down. Boom. I got my clamps here. Let's make sure my clamps are all ready. Boom. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Do I say boom too much? <laughs> Heat resistant gloves. They work great. Oh. This stuff's supposed to be heat resistant, not melted into it. That's the first time that's happened. Oh! I guess they're not heat. Man! I've done hundreds of Kydex, I've never had that happen. Anyway, good lord. Make sure you get it lined up. You have some time to work with this stuff, so. Boom, get it where you want it. Man, that's disappointing. Let's turn this off. See, I took my hinges and I extended them. That way, you know, when I put the front ones on, when I put these front ones on, the back holds. But then when I put the back ones on, it pushes down. See, I got a good eighth to almost three sixteenths more because I put those hinges out. All right, now we wait 10 or 15 minutes and let it set up. Man, I hope acetone takes that rubber off. I've never seen that happen before. Oh, uh, uh. Guess it's time to get some new gloves or something. I'm baffled. <laughs> it's been about 10 or 15 minutes. In fact, I was over, I was over working on folders. Oh man, I got carried away. It's probably been half an hour to an hour. <laughs> oh man. Anyway, let me know if you guys would like me to do more folder material. I just want to get better at them before I start teaching how to make them. Ta-da! Now, hopefully acetone will take that blue stuff off. I don't know why that happened. But look at that definition. Look at all that blue stuff. Man, let me get some acetone and see. I put acetone in these little bottles. It hasn't melted through yet. I've been using the same one, so. Ah, uh, let's see if this goo gone gets it. Yeah, Goo Gone seems to be better. I swear, I've never seen that happen. Damn, that makes it look better anyway. <laughs> all right, let me get this all put away and uh, guess we'll lay it out and drill it and all that stuff. <laughs> Honestly, I'll probably go back to the folders, but uh, you guys will see me marking it out <laughs> next. <laughs> So let's get this bad boy all marked out. 
<clears throat> Man, I went to Home Depot. They don't have any more of these. I looked on Amazon. They don't have any more. I even went to Milwaukee site. And uh, I don't know. They, they must have stopped making them. Now, Sharpie has a silver pen. So it should be. I, I, I ordered some of them. Hopefully, they'll be as good. Because these I usually only use on black stuff. So it's not like I'm grinding on them. I have to wash them down and stuff. It's nice to have silver markers. Good Lord. So I, what I do now is I use my tack lock. I went ahead, I went ahead, my friend came over, so I showed him this. I took the piece out of here. <laughs> so I put that up, so I'll have it for next time. So we can see on this, I, mean, I want this to come down here. It looks like it comes up here. So I bring that around. So now I'll use the tack lock. So we'll put it down here. So I'm gonna bring that around like that. Uh-oh, this thing's dying. <laughs> Let's hope this last one's good. It seems like the tip's all right. I'm gonna put one here. And then one right in the middle here. So, and this will come up. With Kydex, you kind of have to figure out what you like and where you want it. And, you know, if you want to be exact and if you want to do the taco ones like this or if you want to do the two-piece, I, I got to be honest, I rarely do. I don't think... Have I ever done a two-piece? I think I tried it once. You know what? Next Kydex, remind me. <laughs> I'll do a two-piece. I don't think I've ever done one. Maybe, but it was years ago if I did. All right. There we go. Now we got this space here that we got to kind of uh, figure out. Now you can do the three inch. You can, you know, if you want to, you can put this here and do that. Or you can keep doing the, the one and a half. You know, that's what these are, one and a half and three. That actually almost looks... Ah, uh, no. I'm gonna put two, one here, and one there. So it goes fast, 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 open, open, boom. Let's move this one right here. To the bandsaw. <laughs> so uh, I cut mine on the bandsaw. You know, I start here and then I just go. And I'm sure there's someone out there that said, you can't cut that on a bandsaw. Those are made for metal. And blah, blah, blah. I cut wood. I cut everything on my bandsaw. And uh, they don't like it. Don't do it. <laughs> Fuck them. Oh, well. All right, let's do it. I mean, I don't know if you want to cut it with a hacksaw or whatever you use to cut it. That's, but I use my bandsaw because it's quick. 
<laughs> All right, let's get to the drill press. Here we go. Got the one, two, three blocks, lay them over. Quarter inch drill bit. Pow, pow, pow. We're all good. <laughs> is that better than boom, boom, boom? <laughs> I guess boom is after. <laughs> all right, let's do it. Almost could put one, nah, nah, just too short. Maybe I should have moved it, nah, that's good right there. If I put a moved in any closer, the thing wouldn't have fit, and we're good. I'm just being picky. Let's get this clamp on this and get to the grinder. You can see how worn, the, I think I used this for these uh, frame locks to get in here and to get all this stuff out. And that's all right, it's just for Kydex. That's why I saved these belts. After this, it's going in the trash. I use bolts, quarter inch bolts, just like my drill bits. That way, I know to stay away from it and I can see kind of centered how they are. That way, when I put the eyelets, they won't go over the kydex or be too short or the kydex won't be off or anything. So boom, we got that. So let's uh, tighten it up. Now we'll put the small wheel on. Let me put the small wheel on there. There we even got a breathe uh, hole. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna put on here. Check this out. <laughs> oh no, it's too big. I was gonna put the uh, the wheel like this and just slide it in here. See? Here's what I was talking about. These are the leftover wheels from before I changed the plant, and I can just slide it right in there. But I think that's too big. So let's get the small wheel attachment. It's only right here. <laughs> so I took the bolt out of here. It's just easier. I think I started doing it because I usually do like three or four Kydex sheaths and I don't have enough bolts. So I clamp it here for this. But it's also, I mean, you can tighten and loosen the bolts if you want to. Either way, it's just so. See, the thing is when this is, when the uh, eyelet's in, Ah, it's, not, it's hard to get in and out. All right, there's where it's at. See it? Well, now, <laughs> it wasn't going in when I did it for Instagram, but yeah, that just shows you, so you kind of know. <laughs> Good Lord, I swear. I must have, when I did it for Instagram, I really jammed it, so it must have loosened up the Kydex some or something. Oh, man. <laughs> That's how it goes. Anyway, so let's get in here and uh, yeah, let's see where, oh I know, I took a little bit off of it too. All right, <laughs> anyway, all right, same belt, here we go.
Yeah, see with that little bit, it's a lot easier. So now I'm good. So we're just gonna clean it up and uh, go to the buffer. I mean, if you, this is like a Warren 50. If you wanna go to like a 120 and, and go real high on it, but I usually just take it here and then I'll scuff it up a little bit with a sanding block. And see, plus we're putting the thumb ramp back here, so that's gonna loosen it up. You want it kind of tight. Then see, I'll take the clamp off, throw it up on the bench so I don't lose it. <laughs> and this is like a 220. Boom, just a 220 sanding block, like a painter's sander block. I just wanna make sure you get any kind of grooves out here, like there's a groove right there. You just want to sand it down, get everything smoothed out. You know, you might even want to go back and hit that on the belt. That's probably what I'll do. It's nice and smooth. Now you can leave it like that if you like that rough edge, or you can take it to the buffer. So I'll meet you at the buffer. So what you got to remember when you're on the buffer is you're basically melting it. There's a fine line between getting it really shiny and melty and looking nasty and making it look good. Another thing that will happen is as you're hitting it on the buffer, any places you missed will pop up and uh, really stick out. So you might have to run back to the sandpaper and sand it out and go back and forth and back and forth and get all these little pieces out. I like to open mine up even and, you know, hit it and just make sure everything looks good. All right, let's do it. Right here, I was gonna say, man, I did almost perfect on that. But right here, you can see it's like skipped. So I'm gonna have to go back and hand sand that just a little bit. I was hoping I had at least one or two little notches. <laughs> Everything else seems to be pretty good. But yeah, you can see right there, I missed. So I'm gonna have to hand sand that a little bit and then back to the buffer. But uh, that's about it. Let's go do the eyelets. So I went ahead and got the Sharpies, the silver ones. Hopefully they're as good as these. I don't need to use them now, but uh, the reason I use the, you know, the Milwaukee ones, they don't wash off like regular Sharpies do. But with the silver, we shouldn't really need it on anything that, you know, you have to wash down. So it should be all right. Anyway, just thought I'd check that part in for you. <laughs> I went ahead and I washed this in the sink. I used dish soap. Cleaned it all out, made sure it's all good and dry. This is the most important part of Kydex, because if you have any little pieces in there, anything like that, you're gonna scratch your blade. Kydex is notorious for scratching blades. Well, you can take the tape off after you do the eyelids. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that, but we'll put this in the paper. You can see, you probably can't see, but there's a bunch of little pieces that came out of the Kydex, like right there. That would have scratched a blade for sure. I couldn't find my eyelets. Turns out I started being organized and put them with the rest of the Kydex. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and make this right-handed since everyone's right-handed. So boom, put them in. And go to town. So I bought this off the of Harbor Freight, this. Now you can buy them already set up with the things in them and all that, but I, what I had to do is I had to drill it out and tap it and all that stuff. I'll put that video up in the cards. 
so you can see that. But I went to Knife Kits and I bought this. I used to have the one that worked in the drill press. You don't turn the drill press on, you just put it in there and, and clamp it, but uh, they don't work that good. They work, but not that good. Here we go, make sure it's all lined up. Boom! Gotta stand up and do this. Boom! There we go. Let's make sure this blade is all cleaned off. We don't want anything on there. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put a thumb ramp on there, but I'm gonna do something else first. Actually, no, we'll do the thumb ramp now. All right, let me go get the stuff. You can use any kind of heat gun you want. I got this one years ago for soldering. You know, it's got a soldering iron on it. See, we got a tray with a little sponge on it, which is somewhere. <laughs> Luckily, it's got double buttons, but I mainly use it for the heat gun. What I usually do is I pull this out just a bit. Just enough to get the screwdriver under there. Flip this around. Heat's kicking out. Now once again, we don't want to burn these. We just want to make it malleable. Is that the word? Malleable? <laughs> I was going to say pliable. I don't know if that fits, but... I'm not, I can write songs for days, but my words and spelling is horrible. When you have a cut somewhere, everything you hit is right there. <laughs> when I'm holding drumsticks, bam! Now I just snapped that right in there. And see, now you can put your thumb there and push on it. We'll do it a little bit more now that we got it up some. You just don't want to burn it. And you gotta hold it for a second, let it set up. There we go. Bam. Out with one of it, in with the other. <laughs> Whew, man, I really got myself on that one. While well, this warms up, I actually saw a Simple Little Life did that. We got to use our Sharpie even. So we'll take a piece of, uh, Codex here, and we only wanted to cover these three holes. Let's see. So, that's plenty. So what we want to do, or what, here's what I do, you know, we want it to size. We want it about that size right there. Ooh, that's got a nice color to it. <laughs> Take my razor, score it. Since I got the ruler here, I might as well use it, huh? Pop it. Let's cap it so it don't go bad. They seem to work. See, with stuff like that, that's perfect, so. I'm going to take off the silver ink ones in my Amazon links and put these in. Alright, just in time, we're at 340. Let me get my gloves on. Hope they don't run again. <laughs> now the pen is to put on the back. 
to lift it up. Let me see. Let me make sure. All right, we're putting it on the back here. <laughs> Now you just gotta hold it together, let it set up. As you hold your fingers with the heat gloves, you'll know where to drill. <laughs> now we'll just go, I'm gonna do this off camera, but I'm just gonna drill a hole. Here's, I got these off of Amazon. I'll put these down in the links. So I'm just gonna make two marks. Boom, boom, drill them out. I usually drill the bottom one and this one. That way it can kind of pivot. I'll be back, I'm gonna drill it, and I'm gonna cut the rest out in the bandsaw, and I'm gonna kind of shape it up like the rest. So I'll be back. All right, here's the fun part. <laughs> we gotta take the parts that come with these things. But that, uh, that marker seemed to work good. So, yeah, man. I kind of bead this one. And then I shaped it up and buffed it up and all that, just like I did for this. But here's the fun part. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to get these in. They even give you these rubber stoppers, so that helps. And I learned it's best not to tighten these down. You know, just get them started. See, so now I can kind of pivot. You know what, I'm gonna use some of that goo going clean that bad boy up. Gotta use the acetone first to take the silver off. Put these back with this. I got this whole little kit, this little hardware kit. And this is, see it's got different size uh, rubber pieces and all that, so. Bam! Lock it right on. Yeah, man. <laughs> now it's all slippery. Ah, there we go. Pow. Whew. All right, I put some rubber pieces in there. <laughs> so it's a lot better now. Man, I couldn't almost get it out of there. <laughs> I scratched it up because I had it so tight. But that's all right. I got, that's why I waited to do the hormones and all that. That'll be the next video, sharpening and hormones, buffing the hormones out, bringing them all out and all that. So that lets you know something. <laughs> if you're, your kydex is ever a little loose, just tighten these things up real tight and they'll tighten it all down. <laughs> yeah, man. Woo! All right, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Let's see. Uh, Oh yeah, my website. <laughs> Go check out my website. I got shirts back up there. The Amazon links are all there. The pictures and everything. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to put on my website all this stuff, but down in the links, if the Kydex stuff isn't there, it'll all be down in the links. Bam. Boom. <laughs> bam, bam, boom. <laughs> Pow. <laughs> so I'll put the playlist right here get up to this build right on this video everything's on this playlist my website's right there so go check it out all right hope y'all having a great day and as always take it easy